after I told Mary in the myrtle tree that I wanted to be a novelist, I came home and wrote a first chapter about a girl. My name is Sue Monk Kidd, and this is my story. My love of story began with my father, and he made up outrageous tales about a mule that would go through the school lunch line and create havoc, and a character named Chewing Gum Bum who would blow gigantic bubblegum bubbles and float off into the sky. So he kind of inspired me with these stories, and he would cast a spell with these stories, really. And I realized that I couldn't think of anything I would rather do than grow up and create that kind of magic spell with stories. My first novel was called The Secret Life of Bees, which was surprisingly successful. I think this became a story that um, a lot of people read, particularly a lot of young readers. Now, Lily wanted to be a writer. That was her dream, and I think this is something I borrowed from my own life when I created her character. She says, I kept a collection of my writings. For a while, everything I wrote had a horse in it. After we read Ralph Waldo Emerson in class, I wrote My Philosophy of Life, which I intended for the start of a book, but could only get three pages out of it. My latest book is Traveling with Pomegranates, which I co-authored with my daughter, Anne, Anne Kid Taylor. And um, it's a very special book to me because I got to tell the story along with my daughter, who is telling her story in the book as well. Uh, a significant narrative thread and motif in the book is about these transitions we were both in. One of the best things about being an author, a writer, a storyteller, is that you get to occasionally meet all of these readers that you're really writing for anyway. They spent time with words that I labored to write all alone in my study with just myself and sometimes my dog. And to imagine that those words and things I conjure out of my imagination makes their way onto a page and that people actually spend hours, you know, reading that. It does form a bond or a connection. But suddenly I was going around volunteering to people, people who didn't even want to know that I planned to be a professor and a writer of actual books. I think young women telling stories can have a big impact in their family, in their school, in their community. Um, it can change things. One thing about stories is that's how we change culture. That's how we change the world. It's through telling stories. Um, it's, it's not so much about um, enacting a law in Congress as it is about telling a story that gets in the imagination of the culture. I would say if a young woman has any dream or desire of becoming a writer, becoming a storyteller, that one of the best things she can do is to believe in your own voice, to develop your voice, and to, not, and to have courage to tell your story, and to believe that your story matters, because it does. You'd be amazed how many times I hear a young woman say to me, but what does my story matter? Why is my story important? Who wants to hear my story? Who am I? And I just want to say, your story matters more than you could ever imagine.